<sighs> Yo, what's going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And um, I'm currently having uh, a little bit of insomnia again, so I thought, why not shoot a video, even though I feel really tired and feel like crap. And what better topic than to talk about my insomnia, which I've actually already talked about in previous videos, but in this video, I think I'm gonna talk about uh, what exactly keeps me awake at night. And um, more specifically, um, you know, just what goes on in my head, what I'm experiencing when I have insomnia and can't sleep even though I really want to. And this light is really bright. Um, I'll turn this way. So, uh, yeah, and my arm's up because I'm blocking the light. But anyways, I think the main thing that keeps me awake at night is just Sometimes, for whatever reason, even though I feel tired in my head or I feel like I should sleep and I feel this sort of like weird like feeling of fatigue, I think deep down I just have this weird sort of energy that this feeling of like being energetic, like almost like a... Uh, I don't know, it's like a weird buzz that I get sometimes where I just feel like it's keeping me awake even though I want to go to sleep. So like I'll feel tired in like my head and have this like almost like this feeling of a headache, but then I'll have this sort of feeling of energy that's coming from my body and it just makes me feel really awake. That's, I don't know, it's really hard to put into words uh, really hard to put into words what exactly I'm going through when I feel this, but, um, yeah, I guess there's no really better way to describe it than energy. And, um, aside from that, another thing that keeps me up is, uh, you know, I think I've talked about it before, but my chronic back pain, um, it comes and goes, I guess, but I, I always have this sort of base level of back pain that is constantly bothering me, especially when I lie down. And oftentimes when, I, when I'm having insomnia, I think it sort of, um, and it sort of like uh, compounds with that feeling of energeticness that I have, where usually when I'm able to fall asleep, it's, it's that my feeling of tiredness sort of overcomes the back pain that I have. But when I don't have the feeling of tiredness, um, the back pain basically um, takes over and I'm constantly adjusting and moving around in bed trying to find a comfortable position which I usually never find because well I guess that's just the nature of my back pain where I can't lie down comfortably and find like a perfect position where I don't feel anything in my back so as a result I'm constantly shifting around really uncomfortably in bed and um it just makes it really hard to sleep and aside from that another th another thing uh i guess related to all these things would probably have to be all of the racing thoughts that go in my head so for example uh these thoughts, I'll just cover my eyes because the light is so bright. Um, these thoughts really are just entirely random and can range from anything from positive to negative thoughts. It's not like I'm kept awake by, let's say, um, you know, nightmares or replaying negative memories in my head although that can happen like for example i can often replay all of the awkward situations that i've experienced throughout my life and these can be anything from recent experiences that i've had all the way back all the way back to uh you know memories that i've had in middle school of me i don't know being awkward in front of a popular kid or a girl that i had a crush on or um a teacher or an adult or just me being awkward and 
I don't know, for, for some reason I can recall these memories as clear as day and they still make me cringe just as hard as when they first happened and so oftentimes I'll go from awkward memory to awkward memory and that will keep me awake or sometimes it'll just be, you know, it'll be sort of like neutral memories like um, memories of, not even memories, but just thoughts, you know, thoughts about like, you know, using my imagination, like trying to imagine a video game that, for example, if I designed like what would be like the perfect I don't know, like weapon to design in like an FPS, like how how it would sound, like the feedback, like the the tactile feedback, and um, you know the aesthetics of it, like what um, you know what type of a uh, I don't know, if it's like a sci-fi weapon or like a a weapon in some sort of sci-fi inspired game, then what would the uh, the muzzle flash look like, and what would the projectiles coming out of it look like not that i know anything about video game design but that's just kind of like giving ex giving an example of me using my imagination because I've, I've always loved video games and i've always wanted to design one but but i just really don't like the coding aspect of it and would hate to have to learn any sort of programming language I wish there was some more intuitive way to program a game, but um, anyways, that's besides the point. Yeah, just things like that. I'll think of that, or maybe like uh, I'll I'll sort of replay my favorite scenes from various TV shows or animes that I've uh, that I really enjoy. Mostly shonen anime because uh, I am pretty childish, and I do really like shonen anime because. They sort of um, align with my general, um, I don't know, philosophy or view of life and myself. So that's one thing. Um, but yeah, I'll just replay memories, memories that I have with those animes, or you know, maybe design in my head my own shonen shonen anime with thinking about different powers that might um, be, uh, I don't know in that anime how those will work or you know maybe imagine new powers and sort of like pre-existing animes that i watch like um <laughs> like one piece which is a uh, i don't know i just really like stuff like that for some reason don't ask me why but um and then i'll think about things like why i like certain things like why i like certain animes or i'll think about myself like I'll think about my personality. I'll anal I'll analyze myself. I'll, um, or I'll think about other people, like my parents and my relationship with my parents, or you know, relatives and uh, just random stuff like that. And I'll basically flow from one th from one thought to the next, pretty much like what I'm doing now when I'm when I'm talk, except it'll be even more fluid than that and. Um, I guess more neurotic in a sense because I can shift anywhere from sometimes I'll have really like positive thoughts too like I'll I'll like basically um talk myself up in my head and you know um kind of like motivate myself and say you know you have think things like oh you have all this potential to unlock and you know you just it'll just take time and you know everything you're doing right now is just working towards some moment where you'll finally where everything will just click and you'll just ascend and you know it'll seem like all this hard work is for nothing but in reality you're actually building yourself up into becoming someone who's amazing and you know talent is a is a i don't know is an illusion and i'll, I'll think of all this positive i don't know cliche self-help crap and you know i i'll think of that stuff and it'll give me a dopamine high and so yeah that's just i think the racing thoughts is the biggest thing or the biggest aspect of it is that i'll i'll just you know go from one thought to the next positive to negative or you know i'll go on a little positive or neutral thought like i guess spree for a long time and just jump from thought to thought moment to moment and before you know it 
it's been um it's been like two hours and i'm still awake i'm still wide awake i'm still energetic and i can't seem to fall asleep and um sometimes i'll even obsess over the fact that i can't fall asleep and then it'll make me anxious or that's how it used to be but then i kind of realized that it's better just to go with the thoughts and not make myself anxious because i'm basically making myself suffer pointlessly um and yeah aside from that um one thing that i've read or been told that helps is meditation and sometimes i will try that and maybe i'll last um for uh you know a, f a few minutes before i drift back to my thoughts and i'll have to constantly course correct myself and try and make myself uh you know try and direct my attention back to my my breathing or you know the physical sensations in my body or even my thoughts or oh, my back hurts and uh things like that and um yeah so but then even sometimes when i meditate just the act of meditation itself will keep me awake and it seems like I'm really just at the mercy of whatever my body, my mind, all of these factors that I can't really control. But the biggest thing would probably have to be that, sen that sense of pure tiredness that just allows me to drift peacefully into sleep. Unfortunately, I feel like I don't have control over that or maybe that's because I'm using um, digital devices like my phone and my computer screen into the late hours of the morning and i'm sure that doesn't help with uh with sleep um what else keeps me awake um i think temperature is also one thing that i've talked about like uh if it's too hot i'll uh have a hard time falling asleep but if it's too cold as well then i feel like that bothers me so i have to be at this like perfect cool temperature to stay awake but um uh aside from that um i don't really know i guess just planning for the future and um my hopes and dreams and you know i think one thing that i like to think about a lot is um the things that i want to buy like for example clothes um audio equipment sometimes i'll fantasize i think yeah that's one thing that'll keep you awake it's just fantasies maybe fantasies about me living my ideal life and or you know having certain things come true like i don't know like uh you know being able to buy like clothes or you know uh different like have like a gaming computer or have audio equipment like i mentioned uh you know like a 4k tv maybe um musical instruments or you know having like the perfect girl girlfriend and imagining that kind of stuff and being with her or um yeah i know i'm a, I'm a fucking simp <laughs> for saying that but uh, i mean that these are just normal thoughts i guess i don't know um and uh what else uh just, i don't know just thinking what if i had been normal or what if i had um what if i had um you know turned out a certain way what if i had made certain choices in life what if i hadn't spent all uh you know all of my childhood playing video games and how that would have affected me and things like that dwelling on the past i guess um and you know what if i had had you know certain aspects of myself be different what if i've been born different and things of that thoughts of that nature definitely have the potential to keep me awake for sure and aside from that um, I don't really know what else. I think right now uh, I'm having some lower back pain, but I feel like that's because I haven't been 
doing my lower ab exercises as I should. So um, I think I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think one of the big things that I'll have to address in my neat ascension series would probably have to be my sleep schedule. So uh, stay tuned for that. Anyways, I think I've made a pretty a long enough video for now. So this is Comfy Neat signing out. Make sure to hit the like, the like and subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content and peace.